Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome to my completely free course and starting your cybersecurity journey. Now I do want to be clear. I am using TryHackMe's Cybersecurity 101, the new learning path they just launched that looks amazing. So although this course and everything I'm going to show you is completely free to watch, some of the rooms, some of the modules do require a TryHackMe subscription, but I don't make any money from that. I don't get any kickback from that. I just want to share with you this content. And this first kind of series is all about starting your cybersecurity journey journey. So if you're new to cyber, if you're new to both offensive and the defensive side of things, and you want to kind of dip your foot in the water and get a feel for what it's like, well, you are in the right place. In this first video, we're going to talk about, well, really my favorite subject, and that is offensive security. Now, if you've ever heard about an ethical hacker, well, that's what offensive security is or penetration testing. That's what I do for my day job. And what that looks like is different companies around the US, sometimes around the world, hire me and the firm that I work for, and we hack them before the bad guys do. So I've hacked banks, I've hacked hospitals, I've hacked big businesses, you name it, I have probably hacked them, but in a good way. And I do all kinds of pen testing. You have different types. You have web apps, you have network, you have cloud stuff. But for now, we're going to keep it simple. And I want to give you a brief introduction to this. And we're going to get hands on and we're going to be able to hack an actual application on the TryHackMe platform. Now, I'll drop a link in the description of this video so you can do this right alongside of me. But we are going to go through the offensive security intro room on TryHackMe. Now, to give you a glimpse of where we're going to be going, here is my screen and here is the starting your cybersecurity journey. We're going to do these three uh, rooms in this series, then we'll make another series for Linux fundamentals. But in this video, we're going to cover offensive security, and we're going to hack our first website legally in a safe environment and experience an ethical hacker's job. Now, if you haven't already, if you open up this room, there's a few things you do need to do ahead of time. With the room open, you can see this is going to try to launch in split view, which you can do. But here is the what is offensive security. You do need to launch this machine. And this is what I'm going to show you is this hands-on hacking portion right here. But you need to click start machine and it will load it in split view. And that's going to be the machine or the virtual machine, almost like a computer within your computer that we are going to be working on. Now we do have a goal. As we get into this, if we scroll down, our goal is right here. Our mission is to transfer $2,000 from bank account 2276 to our account, account number 888. 8881. If your transfer was successful, you should not be able to see your new balance reflected on your account page. So let's go ahead and head over to our VM. Mine is right here. And that's cool. It got small again. Let me just fix that. Want to make sure it's full screen and looks, looks nice for us. So give me just a moment and I will fix it. There we go. So here we are in the Try Hack Me VM, and here is the website we are to hack. Now, what an ethical hacker does is we're not trying to cause damage. We're trying to find vulnerabilities, often in a sandbox environment rather than a production environment. And what I mean by sandbox is it's an environment other customers are not using. That's often, but not always, what you're doing the pen test on. And our goal, once again, is not to cause damage, but rather to find every vulnerability, then provide a detailed report to the client so they can fix the web app before the real bad guys exploit it. So here's our web app that is in scope, our fake bank.thm. And the first thing that we are going to learn about is how to do directory brute forcing. What directory brute forcing does is it tries to find anything that's hidden, a hidden directory. And I see this often in the real world. I have found some pretty serious vulnerabilities just by doing exactly what I'm going to show you right here. But what this is going to do is we're going to use a tool that tries a bunch of different directories. So it's going to try something like an admin directory. And it's going to say, hey, does anything live right here in the admin directory? And you can see 404 page not found. Well, does anything live like on the free money directory? Well, 404 page not found. Now, you can imagine if we were doing this manually, that would take a super long time of us typing all of this in. So thankfully, there are tools that help us do that. So what I'm going to do is over on this right side, you can see this cool icon right here. That is our terminal. Now, if you've never worked in a terminal before, don't let this intimidate you too much. It's not as scary as it looks. What I am going to do is zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. If I use the hotkey in the browser, I think it uh, tends to break it. But here we have our wordless.txt and we can kind of cat out our word list. We have a bunch of different words here and each word, just like what I just showed you, is going to try it on that directory. So it's going to do that slash, try one of these directories and see if any of them 
loads. We can ls and see what else is in here. ls just list everything. But the tool we are going to use is a tool called GoBuster. If I just type GoBuster and type H, that's a helpful tool for most command line tools to get the help menu. What does this tool do? So we can see some usage of GoBuster. We can do some basic authentication, which we don't need, but that's if we wanted to test things after authentication. We can set the user agent string. This is sometimes helpful on a pen test or a bug bounty if they want you to put like pen test or bug bounty in the user agent string so they know the person scanning the website isn't a legit hacker, but rather a security researcher. We can set our cookies. We can show C name records. We can include the length of the body. We can skip SSL certificates, a lot of different things. But all we need to do is we want to pass it our target URL and we want to pass it uh, dash W for a word list, which is right here, a path to a word list. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. If I do go buster slash U, and now we need to get our target URL. So if we go back over to our browser, here is our target URL. We're going to paste in our target URL like so, give it our word list, which is just that word list.txt, and then hit enter on our keyboard, cross our fingers, and we'll see if it can find anything. So the first thing I found is an image directory, which is a 301, which is a redirect. But here's something interesting. A 200 status code means this is a valid page, and it's a page called a bank transfer. Now, if we're doing a pen test, that does seem interesting. Can we actually hit this bank transfer page? Let's go ahead and copy that out. We'll right click copy, go back over to our web browser here, and let's head over to our bank transfer page. Here on our bank transfer page, you can see this, our admin portal, right? So it's not protected. Maybe this is something that was in debug mode, but it accidentally got pushed to production. You might think this is unrealistic, but you would be surprised how often I see things like this in the real world on real apps while I'm doing pen testing. So it says, here's our M and portal. We can send money from a bank account to a bank account and the amount we want to send. So let's jump back over to what I would call our scope. Here is our scope room right here. And it says, here is our goal. We want to transfer $2,000 from 2276 to 8881. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll do 2276 8881 and the amount of 2000. There we go. And we will click send money. And it says success transfer completed. You have successfully completed the transfer. Here are the details for rents for We can return to our account. And we have our fake bank right there. And we also have the answer or the flag to the try hack me question of bank hack. Now, if we jump back over to our room, we can fill out some of those questions. Above your account balance, you should now see a message indicating the answer to this question. Can you find the answer that you need? Well, we can right there. The bank has been hacked. So we can grab that and paste it in there. And if you need to try hack me, that is how it works. As you learn, you get different flags or different input. You put it in there and you submit it to see if it is the correct answer. Now, if you were a pen tester this exercise performed for companies we already talked about that and then we can terminate the machine and if you look over at careers in cybersecurity, we're going to talk a whole lot more about this but cyber my friends is a massive world you have blue team you have red team you have grc the policy stuff they're kind of the three big headings above that but there's so many careers underneath cybersecurity, and all of them are a lot of fun now I'm a pen tester, I'm an ethical hacker, that is what I prefer, but I also used to be a senior analyst on the blue team side of things, so I enjoyed that as well. But hopefully you enjoyed this very quick introduction to what it's like to be a penetration tester and what it's like to work in offensive security. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Believe it or not, I do my best to read all the comments on my YouTube channel. So if there was something that was unclear or you want me to clarify, let me know in a comment and I'll do my best to see that comment and see if I can clarify for you. But hey, thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something in this first kind of video in this series, and I will see you in the next one.